morning and we are back again with another video it's super cold here in chicago so yes i'm kind of snugly in my car but i wanted to make sure i dropped this video it's long overdue it's the new year and we're going to start it off right we're going to start it off very productive and get these videos out so i know i've been gone for a very long time a couple of months i've been gone but i can explain I want to make this a really quick introduction video into the new year, but there are three things that I want to make sure I mention in this video. And for my sport betters, make sure you stay tuned to the third thing because that's really important. Okay, so for the first thing, just know that I will be dropping consistently again starting today. I'll be posting this video today. I have another video that I'll be posting on Sunday. And from there, I'll try to keep like a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday schedule. But the reason why I haven't been dropping consistently is because I want to make sure I'm providing you guys with great content. So I know I've been getting more into sport betting lately. I don't want to just make a video full of crap. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm actually providing you guys with great content. As you know, for part one sport betting, part two, part three, part four, I always made sure that I was giving you particular knowledge that I felt like you, you, you should know. So I didn't want to just, you know, come on here, just finding whatever content to create but just know that I, I have some stuff in the vault for you guys so stay tuned subscribe right now actually hit the like button right now hit the subscribe button and turn your push notifications on because I have some really great things in the vault like I said that will be um that I'll be posting starting this week so just know that that's pretty much what's going on I've been doing a lot of sport betting and I'm going to post a lot of videos on the results of that and I've been having some really great outcomes. So there are some strategies I tried that didn't work. And there are some strategies I tried that really worked. And I'll probably I'll let you guys know both of those strategies so you can know what didn't work as well as what is working. So I always want to make sure I'm being very honest with you guys about that. But yeah, the first main thing I did want to say is that I will be dropping consistently. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because the channel will be going back up 2022. Also, let me know what type of content you guys want to see more from me this year. I will continue to heavily post about sport betting because a lot of my new subscribers have came from my sport betting videos. And that leads me to number two, which is I want to say thank you all for the new subscribers. I'm very glad to see my YouTube channel making this much progress. I just started, um, was that 2020? Yeah, I started in the fall of 2020, so to see my, my channel making this much progress, um, I just want to say thank you so much, and stay tuned. It's going to get even better. The content is even greater. I have new knowledge to share, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you all. I also have two new business YouTube channels, so I, I told you guys that from the sport betting, I made a lot of money in 2021. So I was able to start my own businesses. I was able to relaunch my fitness company and I was able to launch a hair growth oil company. So I will be posting, I'll put it right here. So my my fitness channel, it'll be right here. Subscribe to that, pause this video, go subscribe. And for my hair growth channel, go ahead and subscribe over here. So make sure you do that. Um, and I'll be posting, I'll be posting great content on those channels as well. But I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Again, let me know what videos and content you guys want to see more from me this year. Sport betters, I will not betray you. I will keep those videos coming, okay? <laughs> and it actually just came to my mind. Maybe I should do a QA. and a um, So that's what I'll probably do for sport betting. I can do like a general Q&A if you guys want to know more about me. And then I can also do a sport betting Q&A. So if you want to know more about a particular topic in sport betting comment below right now um if you have any questions about me or if you have any questions about sport betting and then i'll try to do a q a video based off those comments and then for the third and the last thing this is for my sport betters okay like i said i'm going to get way more into other um in, in other videos i'll get way more into the success that i've been having with sport betting these last couple months and then the failures as well but one thing I will say in this video that one of my biggest success, I would say, is the savings account that I've been having for the sport betting. 
I also switched it to this angle. Um, as you could see, like I was winning a lot. I was on a whole winning streak. And then where was it? See, I was still winning. Then I made a sport bet on the Chicago right here. The Chicago, what is it? The Bears. And what did I say? Don't bet on Chicago sports. So this is me going against my own rule right here. And as you can see what the results was. But before that, I was pretty much doing really well going on a winning streak. So I don't remember if I put it in part two or part three. But I said, um, as for one of the tips, I said to do a savings account. Like create a sport betting savings account. So have... Like, okay, so like for DraftKings, I use that as my sport betting savings account. And then for FanDuel, I use that to do like more heavy betting, more risky bets. So for the my DraftKings um, account, which is my savings account, I consider it, I tend to do more safe bets. But over time, those safe bets tend to add up to like a nice chunk of money. So just for my savings account alone, from 2021 I was able to add up to almost two thousand dollars in that savings account that's just the savings account that I have on drafts can you remember I'm just calling it savings account um yeah that's like almost two thousand extra dollars and now that I see that that is a method that has really been working for me um in addition to my risky bets that I make in my FanDuel account then I'll continue to focus more on that this year so then you know by the end of this year maybe I'll have five thousand in a savings account and then after that you know I'll continue to grow it and just from the savings kind of loan you know hopefully eventually I'll be making ten thousand dollars a year off that so that's pretty much the goal but for the savings account um go back and watch part two or part three I can't remember which one I set it in um it's the one where I did the tips the sport betting tips and I mentioned I mentioned having a savings account to make sure you're still building money if you're losing money and you're on your risky bets like so it's, just, it's like a safeguard pretty much the difference between the risky bets and the savings account is i don't do any parlay bets in my savings account i don't do any low odd bets in that account everything that i do in that account is um it's it's high odd bets so high odd bets just one bet um and i tend to do it I'll do it three to five times a week. So I don't do it every single day, but I make sure I do it between three to five times a week to keep it consistent. You don't want to do any less, and you don't really want to do any more just to kind of keep that money flowing. But um, so if it's a bet and it says like negative 300 or it says negative 200, I'm going to I'm going to make that bet in my um, savings account on DraftKings. And then from there, um, it depends on how much you want to bet. So if you consider... I would say a moderate amount. So for me, a moderate amount would be like, I would probably put like $25 on that bet. And then I'll make between 10 to $15 off that bet. So now that means I just made 10 to $15 off that bet. And that may not be a lot, but I'm still, I'm still over time building that account. So say I'm doing that five times a week and I'm winning three times out of those five. So we'll say 15 times three, which is $45. We'll just say $50 to make the math less complicated. But say, okay, so that's $50 a week that I'm making just from the savings account alone. Like this is not including the risky best, but so now it's like, if I lose any of the risky, if I lose money with the risky best, I'm still feeling a little bit more secure knowing that my savings account over here is growing over in DraftKings. Um, so 50 times four, that's $200 in a month off the savings alone. It's not, it's not um, including the money you're making from your risky bets. This not including the money you're making from your uh, main job or your other passive income. This is literally just the savings account um, for your sport for your sport betting. So th that adds up over time, like a lot. So I just think that that really has helped me a lot with the sport betting process. And you don't have to do it exactly that way. So you don't, you don't have to, okay, so Jazz King is going to be my savings account, FanDuel. Like, you, it don't have to be that way. That's just how I did it. Um, and you can figure out different type of ways that work for you to create your own sport betting savings account. But that has helped me to retain a tremendous amount of money. So that's what I do want to say in this video. If you want to make another video, like going deeper into like how I manage the savings account, then just comment that below as well. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you want to see. Also, for the big announcement, I should have made this, what, number four or whatever, but 
uh, I mentioned this before. I have a Twitch account now, so I'll list it here. Go add me on Twitch. Make sure you add me on Twitch. I will be posting live bets. So this is something where we can make money together. Um, I'll let you know the bet before I post it. We can post it together, make money, um, and it'll be for free. I won't charge um, right now. So subscribe now while it's free to my Twitch and come make some live bets with me. Um, I'll probably be doing reactions to other sport betting videos on YouTube just to kind of compare our methods. And then also, if I think it's a really great method, you know me, I'm all about research and about testing it out. So I'll try their methods out and let you guys know like, hey, this experiment worked or it, it didn't like, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> their technique is trash. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, so, you know, just let me know what you guys wanna see. Subscribe to the Twitch. Make sure you subscribe to the Twitch. Make sure you subscribe to my fitness channel. Make sure you subscribe to my hair growth channel. And make sure you subscribe to this channel at Shani Monet. I'll see you guys next video on Sunday.